guys, it's Lexi. I am here today to share my highly anticipated Teddy Bees haul. This is going to be an unboxing video. I'm going to give you guys my first sniff impressions on this wax on cold. Um, disclaimer, everything can change once the wax is heated up, but I love these videos. I feel like especially when it comes to um, Teddy Bees, there's always like the pre-order and then you see all the videos coming up. And then there's also a chance to purchase things that maybe you missed out on or things that maybe you want a little bit more of during their ready to ship. So I'm excited about this. Um, if you guys can't tell, there is going to be a ready to ship on Saturday the 25th, I believe is the date of Saturday. I'm going to leave all of the information about that and where to shop down below in my description, as I always do with my vendor wax haul. So if you guys are interested in that, the description is where you will find all of those goodies. And then another thing I wanted to mention, um, it is getting closer to the holiday season. We've got Thanksgiving coming up and Christmas not too far behind. And I'm just kind of in a giving spirit. So I decided that um, at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you guys a few things to enter a giveaway, but I wanted to extend this giveaway to my subscribers just as a way to say thank you so much. Um, and I'll like, like I mentioned, leave all that stuff at the end of the video. So I won't make you guys wait too much longer to see me start sniffing these goodies. But if you are interested in winning like a little gift card to Teddy Bees for that ready to ship sale, then I'll just like pin a little time for you guys if you don't want to sit through all the sniffing. But anyway, let me just jump into it because I'm very, very excited. Here is the box that everything came packaged in. And this is how everything came packaged. So there's a bunch of bubble wrap right on the top and I have not smelled anything. So I'm very excited to see what I think. Underneath the bubble wrap, there looks like um, some of those little worms. I don't know, <laughs> I'm not sure what they're actually called. And this paper that says your order is here. Here are some tips to get the best experience out of your wax. I believe that this was in the last box of teddy bees i think and now to dive in i do see a little sample right here on the top this is strawberries strawberries strawberry trees and cream i don't know why i could not say that strawberry trees and cream so trees and cream is um a scent that is very popular from teddy bees i think it's just like a vanilla i know it's not it can't just be like vanilla and balsam but i think it's like a similar like vanilla and tree scent. I know I've had it in blends before and I think it was over the hill and through the woods, but I don't think I've ever had it on its own. So this is with strawberry and it's very nice. It just smells like um, Christmas trees, a sweetness from like vanilla. And I don't, I don't get a lot of the strawberry. It is very subtly there. And in fact, it kind of reminds me like the vanilla with the strawberry in here kind of reminds me of like a strawberry white cake or like a strawberry shortcake kind of a scent. So that smells very, very nice. I'm very grateful for the sample. And then underneath <laughs> all of these worms is a mountain of magical stuff. Oh, and I see another sample here. So that's exciting. So, okay, I'll, let me show you guys what this looks like underneath here because I only picked up soufflés, um, not any tubs and not any loaves. Kind of the way that my brain works when it comes to Teddy Bee pre-orders and ready to ship sales are, I go in because usually the lists for the pre-orders, are they're just ridiculous, ridiculously long. So I try to give myself the most variety so I only get things in the smallest size. And then if I, smell something during this unboxing that I really, really love, then I'll try to snag it in the ready to ship, but it's not like I don't have enough wax. So <laughs> that's kind of how I um, move forward with my Teddy Bee's orders, but um, it's just what works for me. So we've got another Christmas tree scent for a sample, and this one is Oh Christmas Tree. And I'm not sure, I feel like I got this in a larger size, I think. So let me give this one a smell. I think I did. And you know what this reminds me of? This, this reminds me of, there's a scent from Bath and Body Works called Under the Chris, I think it's called Under the Christmas Tree. 
I'm going to go look in my, um, my Bath and Body Works candle closet and like I'll leave the name of the scent that I am thinking of. I believe it's under the Christmas tree. And I think it smells just like this, which if my memory serves me correctly, I think that this maybe has, um, there's something there, it's tree, but then there's like two other things in here that I feel like was, was one of them sage. I want to say one of them might've been sage, which I feel like is, can slightly come across like masculine leaning. I don't want to say masculine leaning, but almost like something you would smell in a cologne. Um, that's very, very beautiful. I hope that I did get that in a larger size. I believe that I did, but if I didn't, I'm going to possibly want to go back and get some more of that because that's good. I went ahead and as I was pulling the worms away, I just wanted to see if I did order a Christmas tree in a souffle and I did. So I'm going to talk about this first since I did just smell the sample already. So the label of this is so pretty. It's like almost like vintagey looking to me. It's very, very pretty. I have been thoroughly enjoying the way that Tiffany's been like designing the labels of they all have like a, a slightly different like font or text which goes along with the name and like the theme and it just in the wax sometimes the color matches and it just is i really appreciate that i think it's so cool um so the actual notes of oh christmas tree are balsam fir frosted juniper fresh fresh sage and whipped vanilla i i really want to go grab that candle because i feel like these are these are dupes. So let me actually go grab that candle. I'm going to do a quick sniff by sniff, side by side kind of a thing, but I'm 90% sure that these are a dupe or that this is a dupe of the scent. So the notes for this are fir balsam, juniper berries, vanilla eggnog, sage leaves. And this is balsam fir, frosted juniper, sage, and whipped vanilla. So this says vanilla eggnog and this says whipped vanilla. I think these are the same. I think it's a dupe, which is honestly great because this scent, absolutely love, like love it. Yeah, I would say, wow, these are so similar. Um, I mean, I, I there the subtlety is within the vanilla. I do feel like. I do feel like this one maybe is just a just a touch just a touch sweeter but these are i would say with 90 percent certain certainty that this this is a dupe of under the christmas tree so with all that being said if you really like the scent from bath and body works but maybe you're like me and you're doing less burning candles and you're doing more melting wax um or you just want to burn the candle and have a wax to pair with it, which is what I'm probably gonna do um, because now I'm like, oh, great. This this is a dupe for under the Christmas tree. Um, yeah, it's great. I love it. That's fantastic. I did not realize that that would be a dupe, but I'm very, very happy with it. So off to an amazing start. And also I did not mention, um, but I will now quickly, there is some glitter on this. It's white wax, very pretty, green and gold green and gold wax. So beautiful. That is Oh Christmas Tree. Very, very nice. Okay, so next I am going to sniff Mr. Claus and Mr. Claus notes read Cranberry Woods, Bath and Body Works type, Frosted Circus Sugar Cookies and Palo Santo. And once again, the font for this is like very, I don't know, it does feel like it fits the Mr. Claus like kind of a vibe. And this is blue wax with, it looks like some gold, pinkish gold and black glitter. Ooh, interesting. I don't think, I don't, I'm not smelling much of the cranberry woods. Let me try to sniff the bottom. I might be able to pop. These are still just a little cold from being outside. Um, so let me see if I can. I definitely get more of the cranberry woods on the bottom. And I, I do smell a Palo Santo, but I think the thing that I'm smelling the most, 
I don't know, you guys. This is hard to put my finger on what I'm really smelling. I do get the frosted circus cookies. And it's nice. But then I do get like almost like a ah, like a it's not I wouldn't even say it's like cologne. I thought it would be more like woodsy and like cologne with a little bit of sweetness. But that's not that's not what it is. There's something that's almost perfume leaning, like body care leaning. And I know, man, I've been hauling teddy bees for so like so long now. And I feel like that is one thing that I definitely am aware of that sometimes like the bakery scents, if they have a fruit in them, the fruit tends to lean more body care or like, I don't know how to describe it. Like it's a little bit less, I don't know, there's like a sophistication behind like the fruit in a lot of Tiffany's blends. And this I thought was going to be more like juicy cranberry, woods, and, and um, cookie. And it's it's not really quite that. It's not by any means not bad. It's just not what I expected. It's, it's interesting. And I think this is going to, well, I'm definitely going to let all of these Christmas ones wait a year unless I'm just like, I need to melt it now. Um, but... I think that this is one that like as it cures, it might kind of do more, it might bring out different things as it sits and kind of like marinates. So um, that is Mr. Claus. Next we have Witches Be Crazy for Eggnog. And I did pick up three different Witches Be Crazy blends. She had a ton of different Witches Be Crazy blends. But the ones that drew me in the most were the eggnog, the pistachio, and the cupcakes at Tiffany. So I did get all those. So let me start with the Witches Be Crazy for eggnog, which Witches Be Crazy on its own is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spiced vanilla. And then this is obviously blended with eggnog, but it says that there's two different types. It says vanilla eggnog and butter rum eggnog. So I did not realize that there were two different oils for eggnog, but this is both of them. So that's great. And I definitely smell the eggnog. Woozas. I don't even know if I really smell Witches Be Crazy too much, but Witches Be Crazy is also like a very, very sweet pumpkin pecan waffle scent. I guess I do smell it a little bit. I mean, this overall is such a beautiful delicious like very sweet very very sweet eggnog scent well you do get the spices but it's it's almost like um like pumpkin pie spice or like kind of like one of those like cinnamon sweet cinnamon spices not like heavy like ginger or like molassesy type spices it's just like sweet cinnamon sugar goodness with eggnog creaminess it, that's very very good so that's witches be crazy for eggnog i have the next witches be crazy blend and this one is blended with cupcakes at tiffany's i love that the cupcakes at tiffany's font is blue like the tiffany blue color and then also i do see some like pretty blue glitter in this tan wax which is just so so pretty so this one is obviously the same thing, just which is be crazy, which is that pumpkin pecan waffle blend blended with cupcakes at Tiffany's, which is crispy toffee, hints of chocolate, sweet sugar, buttercream, and vanilla cake. So those are the notes of cupcakes at Tiffany's. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love, I have been loving cupcakes at Tiffany's more and more lately. It is just like the most delicious, like, edible bakery scent like it really smells like cupcakes like a marble specifically like almost like a marble cupcake with like vanilla frosting like buttercream frosting and then blended with like an already delicious sweet like cakey pumpkin pecan waffle blend like this I feel like I'm going to really love and I just finished up a chunk bag of just witches be crazy on its own and I remember being like mad. I was like, dang, I don't have any more Witches Be Crazy. I only had like a small um, souffle of Witches Be Crazy with strawberry pound cake. I believe that was the only Witches Be Crazy left in my entire collection of wax. And I was like, no, I need more. And then I remembered that I went and ordered three of these. So I'm very grateful that I did that because, man, I love 
that blend. That is one. Honestly, I feel like out of all of the Teddy Bee scents, I feel like Witches Be Crazy is one of the best out there. That's just my opinion, but I love it. And then once again, my last Witches Be Crazy blend, and this is with Pistachio. And you guys know I really love Pistachio. It is such a great scent. Personally, I tend to, I like, I can appreciate pistachio in any form, whether it comes a little bit more cherry leaning or whether it comes a little bit more nutty. I can appreciate it anyway, um, but I'm a little hopeful that this is like a cherry leaning, even though I feel like in my heart, I feel like it's going to be a little bit more nutty. Um, so besides the, once again, which is be crazy, it does say it is pistachio ice cream and notes of pistachio dream cake which I don't know. I'm not sure what those smell like. I'm not sure what those oils smell like. So let's see, it is green wax. Very cute, very, very cute. Ooh, hmm, hard to say. I definitely get, I feel like I get both. I feel like I get a little bit of cherry, but I feel like I get a little nuttiness. Maybe. Maybe the pistachio ice cream, or I don't know, because there's two different pistachio oils listed within this blend. Maybe one of them is more nutty and one of them is more cherry leaning. And then together you get the best of both worlds, Miley Cyrus, um, so, or Hannah Montana, or both, right? So um, yeah, I feel like I get a little bit of both in this blend and I think that those both of those pistachio scents blend beautifully with the, the like nutty, once again, pumpkin pecan waffle bakery type scent. This is very, very good. I really, really enjoy this. I'm going to be so excited to melt this. So that one is Witches Be Crazy for pistachio. All right, this one, oh my gosh, the label is so pretty on this. This is Christmas is coming. Oh, that label is just so pretty, you guys. Wow. Oh, I cannot get over that. That is like, that is vintage Christmas right there. So the notes of Christmas is coming are warm gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar pastries, fluffy waffles covered in powdered sugar, hints of cedar and Fraser fir. So I'm very curious to see what notes for the bakery will come out more. Ooh, interesting. So I definitely smell like a gingerbread cookie. I don't get a lot of the, um, I don't get a lot of the tree. I get, I definitely get, well, I get some tree. It almost smells to me like if you had um, gingerbread cookie batter and you mixed it with like a waffle batter or like if you had like, yeah, I don't know if that's even possible. If you had gingerbread waffles, it smells like gingerbread waffles with a hint of like a tree, but it's not overwhelmingly tree. It's more of the bakery first on my note, to my nose. So that one is Christmas is coming. Next we have cider cookies and cider cookies is apples, cake donuts, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. So. I have just been really into cider scents. And when I ordered this, I realized I ordered so many fall blends. So I'm gonna have to make some more room in my fall drawer. Wow, that is very sweet. That is way sweeter than I thought it was going to be. It's brown wax with some like pink, pink I think? Pink and gold glitter. This is very, very, very sweet. Um, definitely cider without a single doubt. That's like an apple cider scent, but it's a very sweet apple cider. Wow, it smells like, um, it does, it smells like apple cider and then you poured a ton of sugar in it. It is a very sweet apple cider scent. Oh, it must be maybe the caramel and sugar cookies adds to that. I don't get a lot of like the cake donut, but that could definitely, once it is cured, the bakery tends to wait until a little bit of cure time to kind of come out more. So once it cures the bakery, will most likely come out um, more, but that one is very, very sweet. This next one here is Catacomb of the Witch, 
And Catacomb of the Witch notes are dark plums, rich vanilla, black amber, bonfire bliss, and vanilla woods. So that is Catacomb of the Witch. Very pretty purple wax here. Ooh, that's pretty. Wow, that's beautiful. Definitely smell like the deep plum, like the dark berries. And then there's like a, it does smell like there's like a floral, which must be the amber, cause it's kind of like a body care type scent. I guess amber's not a floral, but sometimes amber kind of smells like it could be a floral to me, maybe. <laughs> It's definitely dark berries and amber. I smell that 100%. I can't say I get any of the vanilla woods or bonfire bliss. I can't really say that, but once again, once it sits a little bit, that might come out more, but that is a very pretty, uh, it feels weird saying like a sensual leaning scent. Like it's like definitely something it's like, it's got a little bit of like a mm, mm in it, you know? It's got a little something, something to it. So that is Catacomb of the Witch. Next, we have Christmas Past. And this one is, once again, just a very pretty label. Um, little Christmas color theme going on here with this. And Christmas Past is holiday cinnamon, fallen leaves, crisp apples, crushed pine needles with hints of sweet balsam. Is this supposed to be a dupe of another Bath & Body Works scent? Maybe it said it on there, but I can't remember. Wow, this wax is so pretty. This is very Christmassy, very pretty. Ooh, wow. Um, that's so interesting. I don't know what would be doing this. Holiday cinnamon, fallen leaves, apples, pine needles. Maybe it's the pine needles. There is something about this scent that really smells like my house growing up. <laughs> Cause it almost smells like there's like, so we had like um, a wood stove. They, my parents still have a wood stove cause they still live in the same house. But growing up, it was like a, a wood stove scent and my family always used to get real Christmas trees. So it smells like my house growing up on Christmas. Cause there's like, it doesn't, there's no smoky note. The only thing that could be doing this would be the fallen leaves. I don't know, it, but there is like an outdoorsy kind of quality, which it must be the fallen leaves, but it almost, it almost leans like, um, like a wood stove kind of a scent. It's not smoky, but it just smells like, I don't know how to describe it other than it smells kind of like a wood stove. Um, but it also smells like Christmas. So it's like a Christmassy inside, warm. Definitely I get the cinnamon. I absolutely get the pine needles and it is, it's not like one of those like oils for like trees that you smell in different vendors. This smells definitely like, like needles. It's a, it's a very unique scent. I don't know if this is supposed to be a dupe of something or if this is just a house blend that Tiffany has just totally crushed. Um, but this is very, very pretty. I mean, it, this is really like sending me a scent memory, which is I love. So that's Christmas past in the name is so sweet. So that's beautiful. Love that. That's great. This one here is Gone Baby Gone. And the notes are soft woods, jasmine, citrus, nectar, sandalwood, and light musk. I have a lot of um, hope for this one that I'm going to enjoy it because I'm a huge jasmine floral fan. So when I saw this, I was like, I bet I love that. And I really hope I do because mm, it just, I love jasmine. I really hope it's not like a jasmine that I don't like. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, I love it. That's a beautiful pink color. And this is the kind of jasmine I like. Sometimes jasmines can be so floral and slightly sharp and headache inducing. And sometimes it can be almost like powdery, powdery type 
florals, like sweet, almost candy type. And this is like more of a sweet powdery, white, pretty white jasmine. I love this. Oh, so pretty. I get a lot of the jasmine, obviously. I like that it says soft woods because it definitely doesn't smell woodsy, but there is like a subtle, there's something a little bit deeper in the background behind the jasmine, which I guess maybe could be the soft wood, uh, the sandalwood I think is more what I'm, it definitely smells more like sandalwood. It's jasmine, sandalwood. And the musk is not very heavy, but I, I guess I get a little bit of it. This is just so pretty. That is so beautiful. This, this smells like um, it could be melting in like a nursery or something. It's just very like soft and pretty. It's a very good bedroom. I bet this is going to be like one of my favorite bedroom scents because it's just so pretty. I love that. I love that, you guys. Oh, I'm so happy I got that. I might need to get more of this. That is gone, baby, gone. Next up, we have smoked ginger snaps. And this is warm gingerbread spice, cardamom, charred woods, roasted pumpkin, and Tahitian vanilla. So I think what intrigued me, because I'm not a big ginger bread or ginger scent fan, but I think what really intrigued me was that roasted pumpkin. Because I've been, I think I found the oil, oil that I really like from that, like, there's a specific like roasted pumpkin seed oil that I think I've been really vibing with lately. And I, I was hoping that it would be this. So let's see if it is. I can't tell because all I can smell is um, like the ginger, like the gingerbread. No, it's not sharp and overwhelmingly gingerbready. It kind of, you know what this reminds me of? This kind of reminds me of a chai tea scent. Gingerbread spice, cardamom, charred wood, roasted pumpkin, Tahitian vanilla. So there is no bakery technical. Well, it's gingerbread spice. So there's not technically a bakery note in here. And I don't really smell a bakery note. It really just kind of smells like my chai tea tea bags that I have. <laughs> like when I take out my like extra chai tea spice tea bags in the morning, it kind of smells like this. I don't get a lot of charred wood. Let me see if there's a wood Zeno on the bottom of this. Maybe there is. Let's see. I don't know. I, I stand by thinking that it smells like a chai tea, kind of, but like a very well done, unique chai tea um, and not like that chai tea oil that I've been seeing a, a lot of different vendors using. Um, this smells like it's a house blend and very unique. I don't think it's that pumpkin, roasted pumpkin oil that I vibe with, um, but nonetheless, this is a very pretty blend. Yeah, I like it. That's really good. I'm interested in seeing if once I warm this, if that charred wood comes out a little bit more because cold sniff, I don't smell much of that, but very, very pretty. This is smoked ginger snaps. Next we have shadow lands and this one is such a pretty color blue. I love that blue like teal color. And this is earthy notes of dried pompous grass, powdery tonka bean, soft musk and hints of white currant. So we've got some white currant that grows outside of our house that we eat sometimes. Um, I'm excited to see if that's what this smells like. Whoa. This must be the pompous grass that I'm smelling. It's not tonka bean that I'm smelling first. It's not musk that I'm smelling first. I don't think it's a current because current doesn't smell this perfumey. Um, this definitely, definitely leans um, very body care. I, I would, I would be I would not be surprised if I learned that this was a perfume dupe. This one, I keep smelling it, but I feel like this, this one might be possibly slightly headache inducing for me, unless it tones down a little bit more on that, I think pompous grass note that I'm smelling and like tunes up on the tonka bean and the musk. Um, maybe it's the current that I'm smelling, but Currants don't taste like the way that this smells. This smells um, 
very much like it could be a mature woman's perfume. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. That one is Shadowlands. So that one is up. That's the only one so far that I'm like uh, up in the air about. But nonetheless, that happens. Like that's that's what happens when you order scents and you can't smell them first, right? So you're taking a gamble. Um, okay, this one is Carter. And Carter is Smoky Woods, Campfire Marshmallows, White Birch, Palo Santo, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. So um, this one, every time I see the name of this or hear the name, it makes me think of one of my friends has a best friend named Carter. and He's like a super goofy dude, so it makes me think of him. This is pretty. Wow, that's nice. Okay, um, this is, I smell like the, ton is there Tonka? Oh no, it's Campfire Marshmallow. I was like, is there Tonka bean in this? No, I smell the Campfire Marshmallow. It's Campfire Marshmallow with like this kind of fresh scent behind it. Must be the, must, it must be the snow. There's, it, there's no mint listed in this, but I almost feel like there's something about this that's kind of almost smells like minty. There's definitely the marshmallow fireside and there's definitely like the birch tree, like tree scents, like almost like a crackling birch type of scent, which I feel like goes hand in hand with like Palo Santo, like woodsy birch tree Palo scent. Um, oh, there is a smoky woods note too, which I feel like kind of goes along with the smokiness of the marshmallow fireside. But then there's something else and I, it's gotta be the icy snow. Cause there is like this crispness to this. This is really, really, really good. I think this one might be one of my favorites so far. This one is way up there. Wow, that's delicious. More tree on the bottom, more vanilla on the top. That's, ooh, that's good. <laughs> Making some weird noises over here. That one is Carter. That is very, very, very nice. I feel like this is going to be a perfect blend for after the Christmas season when it's still winter, but you're over like the green tree scents and you just want something that's like woodsy and sweet, but not so Christmas leaning. So that one is great. Next, I have Modern Farmhouse. And this is one that I feel like I picked up because there was definitely some hype around this scent. Um, or just at least people talking about this enough that I was like, yeah, I, I need to try that. So modern farmhouse notes are Tonka and Oud, Vanilla Birch, once again, and Egyptian Amber. So I, I really like that Egyptian Amber scent too. So let's see what I think about this one. It's brown with some black glitter. That's interesting. This is the most unique i feel like so they're, they're all so unique i mean tiffany does a really wonderful job of just making some very unique scents and blends but this one i i've never smelled anything in wax ever that smelled like this it's definitely woodsy and sweet But there's something that smells like clean about this. Maybe it's the Egyptian Amber. This giving it like a clean smell. This to me smells like what well, I would envision a, uh, like a hotel room of like a really fancy ski lodge to smell like. It's clean, it's sweet. It's like woodsy, a little wintry, but like the furniture within the room is like wood and it has like a, a woodsy, like a real wood scent in the room because of the wooden furniture, but then the, the beds are made and it's like clean white sheets and they smell sweet and fresh. That's kind of what I get from this. This is very interesting, very well done. So that is Modern Farmhouse. Okay, next up I have John Snow, and John Snow is Palo Santo, flannel sheets, creamy vanilla, and mint. 
So this one does have a minty note. I'm very excited about that. And I feel like this one also had some hype around it. Gray wax, some brown and blue glitter. This one, this one, I really smell the flannel sheets oil. Um, this is definitely a laundry scent first to my nose. I, like the mint is like just so subtly there. This is not like a pepperminty or minty blend. This is like a fresh laundry blend with like a hint of like a masculine, like a little bit of a masculine leaning laundry blend. That's what this smells like to me. It's very, very pretty. Um, I thought there was definitely gonna be a little bit more mint, which could definitely change when it melts. Maybe the mint will come out more, but that's very pretty nonetheless. That is John Snow. All right, this one is Marax's. It is sweet plum, saffron, black peppercorn, cashmere cream, and sweet vanilla roasted pine cones. I got it because of the pine cone oil. Definitely was like, I gotta grab that. And this is this beautiful, oh, and the plums, of course. I love the color of this. Ooh, that is so pretty. This smells familiar. I can't, I can't tell you, I can't tell you what I'm placing. Um, but it is reminding me of something. Anyway, it's, it's very plum, very, very like juicy plum. It's not, this, this very surprisingly is not coming across as like a body care leaning fruit scent. Um, the sweet plum in this is coming across as like a sweet juicy plum. Very, very like fruit forward, not like floral forward plum. Um, peppercorn. I do get like some kind of like a little, like there's a deeper kind of quality to the fruit, but it's still juicy, but it's like there's something else, which maybe is a peppercorn, peppercorn, <laughs> peppercorn, um, cashmere cream and vanilla roasted pine cones. I do get a little bit of like the pine cone note, but it's not, this is like a, just a very interesting, like woodsy, deep, rich plum scent. I love this. I would go as far as saying, um, based on cold sniff, this could be like a low for the sun. This is very pretty, very pretty. Oh, that's good. Okay, so that is Marax's, I believe is how you pronounce it. Up we have Nutcracker Sweet. This is sugary shortbread cookies, yellow cake, brown sugar, and cinnamon butter. Cinnamon butter? I hope it's like the Texas Roadhouse rolls sun. <laughs> It kind of does smell like the Texas Roadhouse Roll cinnamon butter scent. It does smell like that, actually. You guys know those Texas Roadhouse Rolls with like the cinnamon butter, butter, cinnamon, cinnamon sugar butter, whatever it's called. It kind of smells like that. I do get like a bakery. There's definitely like a bakery note in here, which is probably the shortbread cookie. And there is like, is there almond in this? Brown sugar, maybe it's the brown sugar. I think it's a brown sugar. That is, um, this smells like the most delicious like cinnamon sugar cookie. This almost kind of reminds me of like, um, kind of reminds me of a snickerdoodle a little bit. Kind of reminds me of a snickerdoodle cookie, but like a hundred times better than a plain snickerdoodle cookie. Like this is like snickerdoodle cookies on the moon, it's so good. So that one is Nutcracker Sweet. All right, next up I have Pumpkin Woods. And Pumpkin Woods is pumpkin spice, sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco, palo santo, and cold winter woods. So I once again was intrigued by one specific oil, that being the patchouli. I was like, patchouli, yes. Woo, that's very interesting, very, um, dark, rich, spicy, heavy spices. This is probably the heaviest spiced scent yet. It just says pumpkin spice, so I'm surprised by that. Maybe it's the woods. 
it is dark. It almost smells smoky, like smoky and spicy. I get the pumpkin, but I get, and I guess I do get the patchouli and I think the patchouli, I think her patchouli is not like the creamy type of patchouli. I feel like hers is leaning a little bit more dark, spice, spicy patchouli with the other, like the pumpkin spice and the woods. I think that smoky wood scent must have um, a smoke. It didn't say, it says winter woods, cold winter woods. I, there must be a smoke note within that. This is um, definitely, it's, it is pumpkin spice, but it's heavy spice, heavy woods. This is spicy and woodsy. So that is pumpkin woods. Next, I have bakery and lisse or lease. I'm not sure. Um, it is brown sugar, caramel, powdered sugar, bakery dough, sugared musk, and bottom notes of sweet woods. I have literally no idea what to expect for this. The rest of it sounds very bakery heavy, and the name says bakery, but the, uh, like the last few notes make me think it's going to be more like body care leaning. So let's see. This is tan with pink glitter. Oh yeah, it's body. This is, this reminds me of if you had a um, bakery scented body care. So think, um, um, what is the pumpkin, pumpkin latte scent? Like the, I'm blanking on, it's the one I'm using right now. Um, caramel pumpkin latte scent from Bath and Body Works, but like in body care. It's like a bakery scent in like lotion or spray form type of a scent. Because there is like the sweetness, which must be the musk. I definitely, I mean, I get all of the bakery scents. So it does smell, it does smell like a bakery, but it's like if you walked into a bakery and you had a lot of like perfume on, like a musky, woodsy perfume. Oh my gosh, this, this actually does kind of remind me of a Bath and Body Works body care scent. Maybe kind of like almost like slightly like a Bonfire Bliss type of scent. I don't know. It's not, it's not obviously like Bonfire Bliss 100%, but kind of a similar, similar family, right? Do you know what I mean? Very, very, very pretty. Um, and it is more, I kind of figured the la the end, the beginning you're like, oh, it's gonna be a bakery scent, kind of like that Nutcracker Suite was all bakery. But then you get to the end, it says musk and woods, and you're like, whoop, it's, it's gonna have something different in it, and it does. But this is very interesting, very well done. I can see why people like that because it's sweet and it does, it smells like a scent that you would want in your home, especially for people that, I mean, I'm a bakery lover, so I, I will literally melt anything in my home. Um, but I know some people don't like just straight bakery scents. They want something that smells a little bit more like some, like a candle or like a scent that would be in a home. Um, not that bakery can't be in a home. I don't know if you guys know what I'm saying. I don't even know if I know what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. Um, this one here is Harvest Cider and Birch. This is plums, once again. I think everything with plums or patchouli, I was like, gimme, gimme, I like that. So this one is plums, dark cherries, vanilla birch, peppered woods, and warm pomegranate cider. Very pretty purple shade. Love that. Ooh, this one is drinkable. I mean, there is like a slight, once again, there is something slightly, it must be the birch and the pe pe peppered, peppered woods. <laughs> Say that three times fast. There is a quality about this that makes it lean, once again, slightly more like body care type scent. Um, but that, I mean, that is just Teddy. I feel like that is, that's Tiffany's thing. Like that's her... Every vendor, I think, kind of has their own niche, and I think that that's her niche. I think that I, she should just make perfume, honestly. Like, I feel like her perfumes would just be so freaking great. 
I would wear all of her perfumes. Like this in a perfume, I would wear the ever living daylights out of this. This smells very, very pretty um, because the fruit in here, like the cherry and the pomegranate and the plum, it's like it's fruity, but then paired with the other things like the woodsy, like the peppered wood and the birch, it just makes it like more wearable. It's just very pretty. Yeah, this is this is a winner. I like this one. This is Harvest Cider and Birch. So if you like juicy fruits, dark, dark fruits that are juicy and tree scents, this is very good. It's just beautiful. I have Spooky Encounters and Spooky Encounters is once again, love the labeling for this. It's so fun. It's sandalwood, smoked oud, spiced cherry, black raspberries, hint of patchouli, and blackberry cotton candy. It's black wax with, I think, purple, purple glitter, purple and pink. Ooh, love that glitter on there. That's pretty. Ooh, this one. And I thought this would be kind of similar to the last one, but they're not. They're not similar to me. Let me get the other one back out because I, I don't, they have similar notes in here. And so I was like, I feel like I got two that are very similar, but they're not. This, hmm. Okay, so the fruit note that I'm getting in this Harvest Cider one is leaning like more of like a cider, like a, like a, juice like a drinkable fruit and then the the fruit in here are leaning <laughs> this is gonna sound so silly but it makes perfect sense in my head the fruit in here smell like they are fully intact fruit and have not been squeezed and juiced these ones smell like they've been squeezed and juiced <laughs> so silly this smells like if you had a big old bowl full of blackberries. I'm smelling mostly like blackberry, black raspberry. Um, but it's like you haven't like smushed anything up. You can just smell like the scent of them as a whole <laughs> berry. And I do, I definitely get some patchouli in this. And it's, I feel like because the cotton candy note maybe it's making it sweeter this is definitely like a this is definitely a scent that does make me think of like fall halloween oh this is so unique sandalwood smoked oud spiced cherry um it kind of reminds me like a little bit of like the Tom Ford Lost Cherry type. And I don't know if there is maybe that mixed with something else in here. It kind of smells like that, but then there's like some kind of sweet scent that's um, following it up. Like, like the black blackberry cotton candy or whatever. It, that's good. I mean, I really like it. That That's a very pretty dark berry with patchouli, um, like woodsy, not woodsy, but like um, Halloween night kind of dark, mysterious fruit scent. Very pretty. I mean, dang, I, I am really enjoying this haul. This is a good haul. Four left. Next, I have Jack's. In Jack's is wet autumn leaves, moss covered oak trees, Cedarwood, Hinoki smoke lingering off in the distance. Hmm, that sounds intriguing. Oh, this smells familiar too. This reminds me a lot of like the fireside, once again, the fireside candle, which I feel like there was also another scent from the last Teddy Bee's order that reminded me of the fireside candle. There must be maybe it's just that like Hinoki smoke lingering off in the distance. Um, maybe that just is so like the smokiness of that is making me think of the smokiness of the fireside. 
scent, um, which is that fireside candle from Bath and Body Works. Woo, I love the cool looking, like, I don't know what that is. Some kind of like, I mean, it's like glitter, but it's like, almost looks like little rocks. That's cool. Okay, let me smell the bottom and see if there's something else going on down here. Um, this is, no. This is, okay, let me try to get my thoughts together because this is hard to describe. This is a definitely smoky scent, but imagine the sweetest type of smoke you can imagine. Like it's, it's super sweet. It's not, cedarwood, the sea, okay, so cedarwood is kind of like, um, I think one of the sweeter kind of tree scents on its own. So it's like almost like if you had like that, that the sweetness from that tree and the smokiness. It's like if you were like, or like, um, I don't know how to describe this scent, you guys. It's a, it's just a really sweet, smoky wood. Like, it's not, it's, I wouldn't even say it's that woodsy. It's mostly just like smoky, like a hint of like a sweet tree in the background. Oh, I don't know how to describe this. I don't get any moss. I don't get moss, I guess. Moss covered oak tree. I don't know. Is very, very pretty. Hard to describe. I don't know, you guys. I'm at a loss for words. That's good though. That's Jax. All right, next we have brown butter and praline. This is a scent that I've seen a ton of people talking about on the Facebook page. I've been looking at everybody's like pictures and everything. I'm like, I can't wait. So I was, I was reading some stuff and seems like this one had a couple people that mentioned it smelling fruity, which does not seem like it should smell fruity. Um, but then Tiffany also said that this changes on warm. So we'll give it a go. It's, um, the, uh, blah, blah, a blend of praline candy, vanilla cream, toasted pecans, melted butter, and the slightest warmth of cinnamon in the background. Okay. People say it smells fruity. And I think she said that there's a pear note in here. This isn't toasted praline and pear, which is a scent from Bath and Body Works that I love and miss. This one is, I think it's some, something else about praline, but it's different. Um, I definitely smell pear. I definitely smell the pear in it. It, do, it def, definitely doesn't smell like the notes say it would. To me, this smells like a juicy green pear. I don't get any warm, nutty praline notes in this on cold. I do get some cinnamon on the bottom of it. I definitely get some cinnamon scent, a cinnamon scent on the bottom of it. Um, but yeah, that one is brown butter and praline, which um, I will not judge until I melt. Last two I have, this one is sugared chestnuts and apple butter. And this is apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. So sugared chestnuts and apple butter. Ooh, 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 yum. <laughs> Yum. Yum. This, holy cannoli. Oh, yum. Dang, that's good. Dang, that's good. Dang. Oh. Even the tin smells good. The tin smells more like apple-y, like cinnamon apple butter, and then the top smells more like the chestnuts like nutty. Dang, that's so good. Dang, I want to melt this like freaking now. This is good. Okay, so I smell the apple butter and I smell the chestnuts. It's like a very sweet, um, like almost like a caramel apple, but like sweeter, creamier. Um, and then the chestnut is like this warm, nutty type of scent. This is, 
freaking fantastic. Uh, based on cold sniff, this I think might be one of my favorites. I said that about like a hundred of these so far, but this is phenomenal. I really love the way that this smells. This smells like an ideal fall blend. I know we are moving out of fall now, but I feel like I just feel like this is going to be something that I'm probably going to want some more of because based on that cold sniff alone, that smells amazing. Okay. And then finally, we have Wish a Witch Woods. That's fun. That name is so funny. Um, it's Marshmallow Fireside or Fire, I guess it's technically it's Fireside Marshmallows. Buttery sugar cookies, bonfire embers, and Palo Santo. So I bet this is gonna be like a smoky sweet. Oh yeah, it's it's a hundred percent like marshmallow fireside with a bakery. That's like a buttery sugar cookie, bonfire ember, and Palo Santo. I don't get a lot of the Palo Santo. Beautiful green color. That that is a very 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 sweet marshmallow fireside, and I definitely get like the sweetness from the sugar cookie, and it does smell like a sugar cookie. Gosh, it's like if you had um like a roasted marshmallow and you smush it between like two sweet like just out of the oven sugar cookies. That is phenomenal. I love that. That is so good. Yum. I don't get a lot of Palo Santo totally could change on warm or could just be so well blended with the woodsy like smoky embery note that maybe it's just like my nose is like going right to the sweet and like not smelling the palo but or maybe it's a sweet palo or a woodsy palo I don't know very very pretty that is wish a witch woods I love it okay so beautiful beautiful scents I'm gonna go through really quickly off camera and try to kind of give you guys my top favorites, but I feel like I, I'm not gonna be able to because I love them all. So um, be right back. Okay, that took me a minute. Um, I really try to narrow it down. I mean, I could have just showed you guys literally the entire haul again and said, those are my top favorites. But I said, if I could only repurchase a couple, what ones would I absolutely repurchase? Based on cold sniff, Maybe my thoughts will change once I warm these, but on cold sniff, sugar chestnut and apple butter, the one I just smelled, I just kept smelling this bag. After smelling all the others, I like went through and I smelled and smelled. This one is, it just is so good. It's, I mean, I'm gonna smell it again. It's amazing. It just smells like, I mean, and I'm a big apple fan. You have to like apple, but like, it makes my mouth like salivate. Um, and I would say compared to like the other cider scent or like the apple cider scent, I think this one is better because of that woodsy like chestnut scent in here. It just adds like this uniqueness and depth to the, like the scent. It, it's so beautifully done. Like that is yum, yum. Okay. Um, this one is out of all, cause I was like, I can only pick one, which is be crazy blend. And I think that this one might be my favorite. And I went through and I smelled them side by side, back and forth. On cold, I think my favorite, which is Be Crazy Blend that I picked up out of the three is the eggnog one, surprisingly enough. I just feel like the blend of Witches Be Crazy on its own just really goes so well with the creamy eggnog. Like the spices make sense with it, like more than they did necessarily with like the cupcakes at Tiffany's and even more than they did with the pistachio. I feel like it just makes, it's most the most cohesive in that blend with the eggnog. So I love that one. Um, this Gone Baby Gone, I think is the most wild card one out of my entire order. It's the softwood jasmine, citrus nectar, sandalwood and musk. This one is like an ideal like spring it's like a perfect, beautiful, soft springtime floral, like almost like floral candy. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's so pretty. If you like florals, even if you don't like florals, but you feel like you want to like tiptoe into it, I feel like this is a, the most non-offensive, sweet, almost candy-like floral that I've ever smelled. This is beautifully done. I love that. That's Gone Baby Gone. And then 
I don't know if this is my favorite, but all these whole, all of these four are great, but this one is just so freaking phenomenal. This is Marax's, I think is how you say it. It's the plum saffron, black peppercorn, cashmere cream, and sweet roasted pine cones. This one is just so unique and like pretty and like juicy and dark and just, I don't know, I just really like it. Yeah, this one is, this one's good. This one is really, really nice, especially if you are a fan of plum scents um, and you are like me and sometimes like things that go a little floral don't always tickle your fancy. I feel like this doesn't. This is like deep, rich plum and you get the other things, but it's, you still get the heart of the plum is still a fruit and it's not a floral type fruit. So that's good. So those are my top four. Um, I am very interested in knowing what your thoughts are, which is why I wanted to do the giveaway that's gonna be tied into this question. So um, to enter the giveaway, I'm asking you just to leave a comment down below saying what your favorite scent from this last pre-order is. Um, or was, I guess. And if you haven't ordered, or if your order hasn't come in yet, what what is the one that you are most excited about smelling? Or what is the scent that you would most um, like to get during the ready to ship sale? So just leave one comment down below. If you comment once, I will enter your name into the giveaway. And the giveaway is going to be for a $35 gift card to Teddy Bees. Um, they have like just the virtual gift card. So I'll email you guys over. Um, if you win, I'll email you over the gift card so you can use it on Saturday so you guys can shop. I'm going to pull the name on Thursday and I'll give you guys like 24 hours until the next day, Friday to respond. And if you don't, then I'll just have to pull somebody else um, just to keep it fair. So um, yeah, and there will be a couple other questions that I'll give to you guys to reach out to me and everything and a couple things that I'm gonna have you do just to ensure that it is the right person getting the right gift card. Um, but yeah, so I'll draw the winner on Thursday. On here, I'll do like one of those like little spinny wheels. And yeah, so just if you want to be entered, you just have to be subscribed. I would just like this to go to somebody that has um, is a subscriber of mine. So I'll just have you, um, yeah, leave a comment down below if you are interested in winning the giveaway. So it's open to anybody. If you've never shopped with Teddy Bees or if you've shopped with Teddy Bees for a long time, if you are just starting to watch me, if you've watched me forever, if this is your first video, um, as long as you're a subscriber, I'll enter your name in the giveaway and I wish you all good luck. I appreciate you all watching so much. I hope you're having an amazing day, night, morning, whatever time, and I'll talk to y'all in my next one. Bye guys.